submitting an application to ALDOT, the Alabama Department of Transportation, for a grant that could provide two new buses to the Rose Hill Senior Center. Donna Williams spent the day at the center. Donna, if the city is awarded this grant, could the city pay up to $28,000 for these new buses? That's right, Ben. This grant requires a 20% match. Not only would it serve as an upgrade for the two buses they already have, Debbie Reed tells me these buses will also serve those seniors who do not drive. Senior citizens are exercising, sewing, playing games, and even attending field trips. And this is all done at the Rose Hill Senior Center. And with all of the activities, transportation is essential. And the two buses that are in use are pretty old, which is the reason why the city of Dothan is applying for a grant for two new buses. We want to provide transportation to our center here so they can have socialization, recreation, and be able to just gather together and have a place to come. After 12 years and 90,000 miles, the two buses will retire if Dothan Leisure Service receive the grant. Looking to get one that, that we could actually, you know, be able to transport folks that might have some, some handicap issues. And then the other one, uh, we're hoping to have both of them uh, to be able to, to bring at least 15 to 20 per bus. If the city is awarded for the new shared bus, the grant would require a 20% match. They also will use the buses to take them to the doctor or to take them to um, grocery shop. So it provides other services as well. These now Debbie Reed tells us these buses will help in many ways. Many ways and the center is, in a, is a place where seniors can come and enjoy and socialize. Ben? All right, good stuff there. Hanging out with the friends. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Donna. Coming up next on the news at